Media censorship has risen to new heights in Venezuela, with a record number of radio stations closed, even as the Venezuelan Journalists Association, CNP, documented marginally fewer physical attacks in the past 12 months. There is a policy of censorship, prosecution of the media. Although it is true that physical aggression against journalists decreased, we saw an increase in radio station closures from four in 2021 to 104 in 2022. The state communications regulator cited licensing breaches for many of the closures, and lawmakers in 2022 denied the action was related to the broadcaster's content. But Carlos Correa, director of the free expression nonprofit Espacio Público, says the moves appear to be part of a policy to limit independent media. This year, we have documented the highest number of closures since 2001. This situation indicates that the government seems to be trying to reconfigure the ownership structure of these stations. Adding to worries for journalists are new efforts by President Nicolás Maduro's government to reform media laws. The National Assembly is discussing proposals on regulating social media, including requiring platforms to have an in-country office to handle complaints. We're going to regulate and control because in recent years, Venezuela has been a victim of psychological warfare through messages on social networks. But reporters working in an already restrictive environment are wary of the plans. And Carlos Julio Rojas, an independent journalist and member of the National Press Workers Union, says pro-government supporters sometimes use social networks to generate smear campaigns against those in media. We've seen how the Nicolas Maduro regime's dominance over communications continues to get stronger. What's their end goal? To close that last space that exists for freedom of expression? If passed, the bill could add to Venezuela's already poor ranking on the Global Press Freedom Index, which measures the ability of journalists to work freely. The watchdog Reporters Without Borders says media there work in a restrictive environment with policies that threaten the full exercise of independent journalism. For Álvaro Algarra in Caracas, Venezuela, Veronica Villafañe, VOA News.